endings are hard, but to us it feels like the right progression uh, for where we're going with Half-Life. <laughs> so it worked perfectly in terms of where we, where we see ourselves headed. On behalf of everyone at Valve, thank you for this Game of the Decade Award that we're receiving for Half-Life 2. Uh, accept my notion that it's uh, also a reflection of the community who's been engaged in the Half-Life universe since the beginning. Half-Life 2's all-time peak of concurrent players is 6,882. What we need to do is break this record. August 14th, 2021, play Half-Life 2. The bar has already been raised. Now, it's time to break the bar. 13,216 people, according to SteamDB. Uh, but it would be super cool as, as if we could beat SteamDB's um, listed record. On the 14th of August, play Half-Life 2 on that day so that we can break the peak player record. An event called Breaking the Bar, where a bunch of people are getting on Steam and trying to play Half-Life 2 at around the same time. I think it'll be a cool time just to play some Half-Life, hang out, and you know. We must spread the word. Gather around. Remember, 14th of August, 15 o'clock. 6,882? That's pathetic. Let's break that. That's the actual all-time record. Easy. Easy. 13,128. No, it's ожидаемо было, ребят. Это ожидаемо на самом деле. We even have our own little tag now on SteamDB. We have officially been recorded in history. We need it, camarade. We need it, the history. Oh, no. Today is September 19th, 2021, and this is your daily Half-Life 3 update. Ah, I see my reputation precedes me. How about from here? This is good. Easy. Yeah, just pull in here. I can't believe... I didn't, I didn't... Now, Gordon, you may have killed three innocent lives, but it's important to stay calm. Hey, look, Gordon, ropes! We can use these to help with pit. Gordon, I believe we're finally done with water. Yay. No. Fuck. What the fuck? Good night, girl. I'll see you tomorrow. You uh, fucked up my face. I'm the G-Man, Alex Vance, fuck you. Gordon Freeman, fuck you. What I need is for you to climb down out of my ass. You agree? You're old and wrong. <laughs> Don't laugh. Oh, I'm sorry. I wonder if those boys could have made a bigger mess. Hey, you did this door, it's coming out of your pay.
name's Gabe Newell. I'm the managing director at Valve. Our first game was Half-Life, and I'd like to say hello to all the GameStar readers. How, how would you explain the success of, of Half-Life? When um, we were working on Half-Life, we thought, you know, everyone at Valve is, I'm doing this also for the video, everyone at Valve is a big fan of the first-person action genre. And we felt when we remembered back to our earliest experiences playing Doom, how um, how much atmosphere there was in those games, how much you had a sense of being transported into a world that you hadn't been before. Um, and the directions that everybody went after that seemed to be to trivialize the genre, to just make it a shooting gallery rather than recognizing this opportunity to be in this interesting, exciting, scary world. I mean, playing Doom, I remember, you know, playing it until 3 o'clock in the morning and suddenly realizing that I just didn't want to play anymore, not because I wasn't enjoying it, but because I was terrified to find out what was around the next corner. And with later games, it seems like, you know, all the, you know, it, it was just an exercise of running around and being the most powerful thing in the world and just shooting things. And so we actually felt that, that in a sense, we were going back to the roots of what made the genre so exciting to everyone in the beginning. When you might do your next uh, single player game? Um, we have made no formal proposals to anyone about any, uh, any anything beyond uh, uh, Team Fortress 2. So, you know, we're always looking at, at, at interesting technologies and, you know, clearly, you know, uh, uh, we have a love for the Half-Life style single player experience. So, um, you know, we're obviously thinking about what's next in that, in that area, but we haven't really announced anything at all.